Hi friends, welcome to my channel. I'm Arpita Karwa. A lot of students who are preparing to sit for GATE in English literature keep asking me why they should prepare for GATE. So I thought why not make a video and answer the queries of all these students in one go. In this video, I will be talking to you about what are the benefits of cracking the GATE exam. But before we go ahead and talk about that, let me first tell you what GATE stands for. So GATE stands for Graduate Aptitude Test in Engineering. I'll just quickly tell you who all are eligible for GATE and what are the benefits of clearing GATE. GATE is usually linked with the field of science and engineering. I hope you can recall that some of your friends back in class 11th and 12th were aiming to clear JE exam in order to pursue engineering or BTEC from IITs. However, if one fails to pursue engineering from IITs but still wants to complete a post-graduation from IITs, he or she has to clear the GATE exam. In simplest terms, if JE is for admission into bachelors, GATE is for admission into the masters and both of them are for IITs. Now you might ask that this is for engineering, right? How is GATE important when it comes to humanities subjects, especially English literature? So let me inform you that recently, IITs have taken a very significant decision. They have started courses for many subjects from humanities, such as economics, English literature. In order to get admission in such courses, they also have started conducting GATE exams for these subjects as well. Last year, IIT Bombay conducted this exam, whereas this year, IIT Kanpur is conducting it. Slowly, you will see that many other IITs will also associate themselves with this process. One very important thing that you should understand is that GATE is considered to be the second most difficult exam after UGC NET for an English literature candidate. So you might ask that when we already know that this GATE exam is so difficult, why should we even fill the form and sit for the exam? Why should we even prepare for it? What are the benefits? So you know that why do you want to remove your name from your और रात को जाग के करें गेट एग्जाम की तैयारी। Before we move ahead, a little reminder: If you are new to this channel, then please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so that you never miss an update from our side. We are proud to share that we are India's largest YouTube channel in the field of UGC NET and Gate exam preparation, having the maximum number of subscribers. So let's begin with benefit number one. The first one is that once you clear the Gate exam and you get a good ranking. You can pursue your masters from a reputed university. Yes, guys, the GATE exam opens many doors for you to pursue masters from great universities like IITs as well as from central government supported universities. So, as per the talks going around, the candidate who clear the GATE exam will be admitted directly into any central government supported university for the MA course. They won't have to go through the MA entrance exam if they have already cleared GATE exam. If you talk about IIT Madras, it is offering admissions to MA English course, which has just 47 seats. And you have a chance to secure a seat there if you qualify the GATE exam. Clearing the GATE exam will straight up land you a direct admission into the MA English course by IIT Madras. There's also a high possibility that other IITs will also launch new courses under the humanities category in the next two, three years. Since your GATE score remains valid for three years, you can use your GATE score to get admission after one year in some reputed IIT if they start a course in English literature. Also, one important point, if the selection is interview based in MA, then as per the Ministry of Education guidelines, a minimum of 70% weightage will be given to GATE qualified candidates. So, even if you plan on doing an MA from a reputed college other than IITs and they have an interview-based selection, then according to the Ministry of Education, 70% weightage is to be given to the GATE students. If you have a good score in GATE, the 70% weightage will help you clear and you will definitely secure your admission in a reputed college for masters. Now moving on to the second benefit. It is a scholarship that is granted to the students who clear the GATE and decide to do PhD. So GATE qualified PhD scholars receive a monthly stipend of 25,000 INR in the first two years and 28,000 from the third year. 
was a very similar to what a student would get after he secures GRF. One who clears GRF and pursues PhD gets the same stipend. But if you aren't able to clear GRF and instead go for GATE exam and qualify it, then also you get a scholarship of 25,000 rupees. As we all know, clearing GRF through NET is a big deal. But GATE is a bit easier than NET, plus it is not that popular as of today. Hence, less number of students take this route. While UGC NET sees the participation of about 9 lakh students every year, the competition in GATE is relatively very, very less. Hence, you can easily earn a stipend if you crack GATE during your PhD. Before we move on to the next point, here is something that I want to share. If you are preparing for GATE English literature, then I have a great news for you. We are here with an exclusive animated video course for great students. We are proud to announce that we are the only institute in India right now that teaches through animated videos. Our videos are designed using 3D graphics and animation, which enhances the visual memory of the student, so that they are able to retain the complicated summaries of novels, plays and poems easily and recall it effectively during the exam. In our online course, we provide you with topic-wise video lectures with rich animations covering all the topics in the step-by-step -step manner, which works even when you have not done any previous preparation. We also provide you high-quality PDFs and revision notes that cover syllabus-wise topics comprehensively and ensure you qualify your dream exam in just one attempt. Along with video lectures and PDF, we also have to offer test series that consist of more than 3,000 unit-wise questions for GATE exam that comes with detailed explanation. Plus, after every test, you get detailed performance report and your ranking in the All India Leaderboard, which will help you to spot your weak and strong areas. We cover all important topics, writers and works in our online course for GATE examination. The detailed list of all these writers are displayed free of cost on our website arpitakarva.com. You can even download this free list and start preparing for these exams on your own. The link of our website and all the courses are given in the description box below. You can check out the course details from our websites and even watch a free demo lecture and attempt a free demo mock test before you decide to enroll in our course. For more information related to our courses, feel free to shoot your queries on the WhatsApp number displayed on the screen. Me and my team will be more than happy to assist you. Moving on to benefit number three, which is an amazing career opportunity that GATE provides. You all know about the career opportunities one gets after clearing UGC NET. You become eligible to be a professor or a lecturer in any university or college across India. However, GATE on the other hand provides new opportunities which are unavailable after UGC NET. There are a variety of jobs that you can explore after clearing the GATE exam. Konse? Batatiyo. Let me tell you one example. There are 25 IITs in the country and each one of them has an English department. So if you clear GATE, you can directly become a professor in the English department of these IITs. And trust me, it is such a highly reputed career option to be a professor in an IIT, which also gives you a really good salary. However, if you don't want a career in teaching, you can explore various public sector undertaking or PSUs where you can get various employment opportunities based on your GATE score. Be it BHEL, BSNL, or NGC, there are many key public sector undertaking companies where they need people who have cleared GATE and are well versed in English. They want these people to draft important letters or legal notices, or even want such people to get into higher ranks of a senior field officer or senior research officer. Another important thing is the direct recruitment opportunity to group A-level posts in central universities. So a senior field officer and senior research officer are some of the posts in central universities which are only available to students who have qualified GATE. Okay, now we move ahead and let's talk about benefit number four, which is that GATE score helps to boost your CV. Now you all know that whenever you give an interview, your CV is your mirror. It reflects all of your achievements, accomplishments and based on the CV, an employer selects candidates. Now the score in GATE can be used as a proof of your excellence and merit in the field of English literature, which you can further use to get private sector jobs. So the mentioning of the GATE score in your CV 
sends a brilliant sign to the future employer that you are an academically brilliant candidate who has an excellent command over English literature. Being a GATE qualified candidate, your chances of success are increased sustainably compared to a non-GATE qualified candidate when it comes to job opening. Now, one important thing that comes up here is the distance learning program. For example, if you have done your bachelor's or master's in English literature from IGNO in a distance learning mode, then that degree is considered a bit lower than a regular college degree. That is a fact in the market, right? However, everyone faces different situations and not everyone can go to a regular college because of various responsibilities. Despite all this, you can still strengthen your CV with a GATE exam score if you have done your bachelor's or master's from distance mode. In a nutshell, even if you don't want to pursue a career in government sector or undertake a PhD or do a master's course, I would still suggest you to go and sit for GATE exam because it will reflect positively on your CV. And now we move on to benefit number five, which is that it helps in switching careers. Since you all know that GATE is an exam which doesn't have any age or attempt restriction. Hence, this helps and allows to change your careers. Many times we have students who have done their BTEC or BCom and in the middle of their course, they understood that they have a craving for English literature and they want to pursue masters in English literature. But a problem arises. If they choose the conventional route, they won't be able to get into the best colleges for masters in English literature as they don't have a relevant bachelor's degree in English literature. However, if you clear the GATE exam, it showcases your command over English language and literature and you will definitely land up an admission in a good university for your masters. In a sense, GATE has become a great boon for all those who are not coming from an English literature background yet want to pursue a career in it. Coming to the end of this video, today I've discussed five most important benefits that you can achieve just by clearing the GATE exam. Since there is an overlap between UGC net and GATE syllabus, and if you are someone who is preparing for UGC net already, I would highly, highly recommend you to go and fill up the GATE form and sit for it. If you are looking for past year papers of GATE English, then we invite you to visit our website right now. We have provided all past year papers of GATE exam along with the answer key free of cost on our website. You can simply go and download the paper and start your preparation right away. If you found this video helpful, then please like this video by giving it a big fan thumbs up and also share it with other fellow aspirants who are struggling with similar kinds of questions. So that's it from my side for this video lecture. We'll meet you very, very soon in the next video lecture. Till the time we meet next, happy learning, keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpitakarwa.com.